Welcome to Visual Building Solar Designer. First I'm going to create a new project and show a 2D view and a 3D view. Selecting each view I can zoom in so I can see the entire project in each window and I'm now going to set the property details. Um, I've got a building address uh, this is going to be the actual building that the work is going to be done on. In this case makes up an address and I can also set a separate owner address if I need to and these details are actually used later on in the uh, project plans and reports that you can print out. All these details are actually saved in the project for future reference. I'm now going to create the floor plan using this macro. There are different ways to actually insert a wall plan but this is probably the easiest. Quickly draw the external dimensions roughly because I can now actually go in using this macro to set the actual wall lengths and first I must set that the dimensions I'm putting in are in fact the external wall lengths and so I use the left wall area and I can select each wall in turn which is highlighted in red this is going to be 15 meters edit next wall also a 15 meter wall and I go around each wall in turn entering the pre-measured wall length. You'll notice that the angle of each wall is 90 degrees which you can change if you've got any angle walls. And I click on close wall contour and complete and that has created my outline of my building. I can now use the insert roof module. Again there are different ways to insert a roof. I'm going to use the most simplest which is insert roof on selected contour. So I click that button and then click on the actual wall contour. And this brings up my roof construction dialog and a 3D model of my roof. I can click on each roof surface and actually then define what that surface is. In fact it is these two end surfaces are gable ends and I now want to say that this roof surface here is in fact 38 degrees side 38 degrees and there's my roof surface that I'm going to work on. Say OK and the model is transferred back to my project. I can of course create an entire model of an entire house with one or two stories but in this case I've just got a single story of the roof click on the environment button because I need to select the compass to set the orientation of the project. If I right click on this I can then set the angle and put, turn that through 90, minus 90 degrees because that's north facing and this is the surface I'm going to actually mount my solar panels on which is south facing. Go to the catalogue and here's my choice of solar panels. I can drag these in but I'm going to use the insert PV module macro which allows me to define the size of the array. I'm going to have six by two panels and I can then choose which solar panel I want. I'm going to use this one and I just drag this array onto my roof and you can see where you're going to align the panels. Click 
click OK to place them. Close that dialog. And I can now use my analysis dialog. I can define where in the UK I'm located by just clicking on the map. And there are various other things I can set in here. It's common losses, efficiency of inverter, and of course the proportion of the import to tariff that you're going to use. And I can support multiple areas, but I've just got one area. And you can see the, all the other calculation values here. But I can also create a report um, of this value, how we've got this calculation. If I go into report, these are predefined reports that you can create. I've got one prepared here called sample. And I can actually create a PDF 